Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this example. So we have to solve this simple integration we, over this curve C. C is a circle mod Z is equal to 2, but we have to solve with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay, so let us call the given integral as I and then we will start to solve. We have what is I integration over C tan Z dz. So the most important thing is a given curve C. So I will draw the, uh, that given curve, which is a circle, and then we will go further. Where C is the circle. What is the equation of circle? Mod Z is equal to 2. So to draw the circle, we need to know its center and radius. So let us find center and radius. How to find? Just comparing with a standard form. The standard form of circle is mod z minus z0 is r, z0 is center, r is radius. Okay. So let us compare given equation. Given equation we have just mod z only here mod z minus z0. That means z0 is 0. It means the center of a circle is 0. Center is 0. 0 means 0 plus 0 i. It's a complex number or you can write 0 comma 0. Radius, just compare right hand side. So radius is 2. So let me mention radius r is 2. Okay, so we have a circle with center 0, 0, radius 2. Let us draw. Imaginary axis, real axis. 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Okay, so our center is 0, 0, radius is 2. So we have a circle like this. This is a given circle, right? So now uh, we have to consider the function also. The function is the second important thing for us. What is a function? You can easily see tan z. We are integrating tan z. That means tan z is a given function. Let me remove this part. We have f of z is tan z. See, we have to solve this integration with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. So let us recall the statement of Cauchy's residue theorem then we will plan how to solve this problem, okay? So statement of Cauchy's residue theorem says integration over C f of z dz is 2 pi i sum of residues, okay? 2 pi i sum of residues. That means what we do, we find the singular points of a given function. Singular point means a point where function is not analytic. We will check those points are lying inside the circle or outside the circle. If they are lying outside, no need to find residue. But if any point lies inside, we have to find residue at each singular point, okay, which is lying inside the circle. Then we take the sum of all these residues and we take product weight 2 pi i, then we get the value of integration, getting? That means we find the value of integration with the help of just residues only. I will follow the same technique. Our first task is to find singular points of given function. Then we will check those points are lying inside or outside. If they are lying inside, we find the residues, sum of residues and product with 2 pi i. Okay. Let us start to do. So now the question is how to find the singular points. Generally, we say singular point means a point where the denominator is 0, but the given function has no any denominator. But see, we can express tan z as sin z upon cos z. So here also I will do the same sin z upon cos z. So it means our denominator is cos z now. So we have to find the points where cos z that means denominator is 0. Uh, cos pi by 2 0, cos minus pi by 2 0, 
cos 3 pi by 2 0 cos minus 3 pi by 2 0 cos 5 pi by 2 0 plus minus 7 pi by 2 0 that means all these are points where the denominator will be 0 it means function will not be analytic that means all these are singular points okay so let me clearly mention here f is not analytic at z is equal to plus minus pi by 2 plus minus 3 pi by 2 plus minus 5 pi by 2 and so on okay since if i put z is equal to pi by 2 cos pi by 2 0 we get in denominator so that's why all these are singular points for 3 pi by 2 also cos 3 pi by 2 0 cos minus 3 pi by 2 0 so for all these points cos will be 0 it means denominator is 0 that means function is not analytic okay so that's why we say these are all singular points so now the next question is all these are lying inside or some of them are lying outside or all of them are lying outside we don't know let us find uh, pi pi means what 3.142 pi by 2 that means 3.142 by 2 so it will be 1.57 okay pi by 2 so our radius is 2 so that point lies inside 1.57 no it will be somewhere here pi by 2 similarly this minus pi by 2 also will be lying inside the circle getting 3 pi by 2 that means 3 into this pi by 2 1.57 i don't know the exact but i think it will be 14.7 or something like that so it will lie outside getting 3 pi by 2 will lie outside minus 3 pi by 2 again it will lie outside and obviously all remaining points will lie outside the circle it means only two singular points are lying inside pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 okay we need to mention all these things clearly here here z is equal to pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 lie inside c and all remaining singular points remaining singular points are lying outside c okay all remaining sing, uh, singular points are lying outside that means we have to find residue only at pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 so fortunately these are simple poles there is no any power so clearly i should mention clearly z is equal to pi by 2 and z is equal to minus pi by 2 are simple poles okay so why i am calling now simple poles why it is necessary to uh, declare these are simple poles since we have to find residue we have to find residue at these two points so definition of residue involves Lorentz series expansion so it will be little bit lengthy task to follow the de definition of residue and calculate residue but see if you have poles we have simple formula to calculate residues okay we have simple formula so that's why i declare actually they are simple poles so that's why i can go for those simple formulas to calculate residue okay so let us start to calculate no more space is there make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so let us find residue at z is equal to pi by 2 first residue of f of z at z is equal to pi by 2 okay so that formula is limit z tends to z naught z naught is pi by 2 z minus z naught z naught is pi by 2 into f of z so now we have to put the value of f of z which is sin z upon cos z z tends to pi by 2 z minus pi by 2 sin z upon cos z okay so we cannot cancel anything here right and if i apply the limit directly pi by 2 minus pi by 2 0 cos pi by 2 0 that means we are getting 0 upon 0 form so that's why we cannot apply the limit directly we cannot put the value of z by z is equal to pi by 2 directly since we are getting 0 upon 0 form it is known as indeterminate form so when you have indeterminate form definitely we can go for l hospitals rule 
that rule says when you have zero upon zero form take the derivative of numerator and derivative denominator separately okay and again apply the limit so by l hospitals rule we have to take derivative of numerator at numerator so that means z minus pi by 2 sin z and derivative of denominator which is cos z okay i should mention by l hospitals rule by l hospitals rule okay i hope you can see see uh, now we have to take derivative of numerator actually there is a product of two functions so i should use u into v formula to calculate derivative let me mention derivative of u into v u derivative of v plus v derivative of u the formula is quite simple it says first into derivative of second plus second into derivative of first this is first function this is second function okay i will follow the same formula So this is equal to limit z tends to pi by 2 z minus pi by 2 as it is derivative of sin z is cos z plus sin z as it is derivative of this bracket derivative of z 1 derivative of pi by 2 is 0 since it is constant now derivative of denominator derivative of cos z is minus sin z okay so finally we got the derivative and I got this form okay I need more space to write. So make a screenshot of it first, then I will go further. So now it's time to apply the limit. Okay. Apply the limit. That means at a place of Z, I will put pi by two is equal to, if I put Z is equal to pi by two, we'll get pi by two minus pi by two cos pi by two, right? Sine is there plus sine pi by two upon minus sin pi by 2 okay so pi by 2 minus pi by 2 0 0 into cos pi by 2 0 into anything 0 so the first term is 0 sin pi by 2 is 1 minus sin pi by 2 is 1 so answer is minus 1 so our first residue is minus 1 so uh, we have a second pole also, which is a simple pole at z is equal to minus pi by 2. So let us find residue at that pole also, since that pole is also lying inside the C. Residue of f of z at z is equal to minus pi by 2. Okay. So it is also a simple pole, same formula is applicable just at a place of minus or oh, sorry, just we should replace pi by 2 by minus pi by 2 everywhere okay so limit z tends to minus pi by 2 so already minus is there so minus minus plus pi by 2 f of z so limit z tends to minus pi by 2 z plus pi by 2 our f of z is tan z that means sin z upon cos z so it is sin z upon cos z so if we cannot cancel anything here so if i apply the limit directly what will happen minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 we will get 0 at numerator we are getting 0 0 into anything 0 right and if i put z is equal to minus pi by 2 again cos minus pi by 2 is 0 denominator also 0 that means same story repeats there getting same form we are getting so obviously we should apply l hospitals rule so limit z tends to pi minus pi by 2 okay l hospitals rule we have to follow that means derivative of numerator we should write at numerator and derivative of denominator we should write at denominator like this getting so if you take the derivative again u into v formula same as this one so let us take the derivative of numerator first into derivative of second plus second into derivative of first z plus pi by 2 as it is derivative of sin z cos z plus sin z as it is derivative of this bracket z derivative of z is 1 pi by 2 is constant derivative will be 0 and derivative of denominator derivative of cos z is minus sin z okay so the same l hospitals rule i have applied here use here so let me mention 
by एल Hospitals Rule. So now it's time to apply the limit. Apply the limit. That means at a place of z, I should put minus pi by two everywhere. Okay. So there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it first. Then I will go further. So now I am putting z is equal to minus pi by two everywhere. Okay. So this is equal to minus pi by two plus pi by two cos minus pi by two. Right. Plus sine. Minus pi by two upon in denominator minus sine minus pi by two. So minus pi by two plus pi by two zero and zero into anything zero. Sine minus pi by two is minus one. On calculator also you can easily find minus sine minus pi by two is minus one. So minus one upon minus minus plus. So it is minus one. Okay. So residue at z is equal to pi by two, we got minus one, and z is equal to minus pi by two is also minus one. Okay, so we had got two singular points which were lying inside C. All singular points were remaining. All singular points were lying outside. We calculated residue at both points, so it's time to use Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay, so let us apply by. Cauchy's residue theorem. So integration over C. We have a simple function tan z dz. It is two pi i sum of residues. Okay. So this is two pi i. The first residue was minus one. Second one is also minus one. It is minus two. Minus two into two pi i minus four i. Okay. So this is required answer. So this example is over here. make a screenshot of it and we will stop thank you see you in next video